What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Crandall. Y'all are watching the Eldridge fam. Uh, we're going to start off this morning showing you guys a little bit of the animals, what's going on with them. And then we are going to show you the ultimate hack for watering your garden. I know it's kind of like a weird topic, but I set up an automatic watering system for our garden. Wasn't sure if it was going to work and it worked and it only cost me like $10. So I want to share it with you guys in case you ever want to grow a garden. The biggest problem that I've always had is stuff dies because I don't water it enough. Well, that's where the automatic watering system came in. It was super cheap, super easy, and our garden is doing absolutely amazing. So we'll show you all that, but let's take a look at the animals real quick. We actually got a ton of rain last night. I mean, a ton of rain. It completely filled up the pond over there. We'll go look at it. Goose is loving it. Oh, here's all our baby ducks. Emerald, it looks like she has started sitting on her eggs or is getting really close to sitting on her eggs. I think there's 12 of them there. So it's still going to be quite a while before. Oh my gosh. So hi everybody, Maverick. It's going to be a little bit. Uh, her eggs, to hatch her eggs takes like 35 days. So it'll be a little while. But let's go look at the chickens. Everybody looks like. They're probably doing all right, actually. Chick, 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 chick. There's Sean. Sean, what are you doing? Zan, come here. Oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 y'all. This is the first time the turkey's ever gotten into uh, the chicken area. I didn't know he could get in there. I don't think he knew he could get in there. Uh, I might have to actually help him get out of there because I don't think he knows how to get out. <laughs> Y'all are looking gorgeous today. A little wet. Looks like you got a little bit of rain. Sean, how are you doing? Zan's over here back in the corner. He's not really wanting to make a presence this morning, I guess. Domino, you got wet last night. You must not have gone in with all the rain. Must not have gone in. Supposed to go in the shelter over there, but nope, no luck. Maverick is going to be completely soaked by the end of this, y'all. Oh, my gosh. So cute. All right, well, let's see if we can get Mr. Turkey out of here. Yeah, you got real dirty. He must have been in here all night because, yeah, you're dirty, dirty. We'll go ahead and open this up. Oh, great. Now all the other hens are going to want to come out too. Maybe we maybe we let the chickens out today. I guess we could do that. Let's let them out. We haven't let them out. They obviously have this huge pasture to free range in. So it's like they're free range. But we're going to actually just let them out today. Yeah, turkey. Hurry, chickens, before Zan comes. There we go, Domino. You're okay, buddy. Sorry, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Come on. You're all right. You're okay. I didn't see that. I didn't know he was going to get you. Are you okay? Let me see. Oh, he got it on your shirt. We're going to have to go change it. Come here. Come here. Well, that was a first. I think he was just cornered and uh, decided to kind of, you know, make his presence. Yo, this is insane. So... They said, the weather said that we only got like half an inch of rain. I think we got like four inches. Because it completely filled this whole thing up again. Which is insane. Goose, come here. So, you know what's wild, you guys, is last year this time, we were in a complete drought. Yeah, there's a snake over there, huh? Yeah, I think the bird already took it. So, we were in a complete drought last year this time. I mean, like... We hadn't had rain since like May, 
This year, complete opposite. We get rain like twice a week. So it's been really, really good, especially for all the farmers because last year's hay crop was so bad. We really needed a good year to get our hay back on track. So hopefully it will kind of continue like this and everybody will be able to get three or four cuts of hay. I'm sure everybody would be very, very happy if that happens. I got Domino put back in his pen, as you can see. That's crazy. We've never had him be aggressive at all like that. I'm really surprised that happened. But like I said, I think he just kind of got cornered and he was a little flustered. And Maverick was about his same size. So we're going to keep an eye on him. He does stay in his pen all the time. So we shouldn't have any more issues with him like attacking the kids or anything like that. So as you guys know, we have all been super, super sick. Maverick was sick. We took him to the ER. And then Marcy got it. And then I got it. I was up all night last night throwing up. I think I threw up four or five times just awful awful i'm feeling a little bit better marcy's got me some pepto bismol or something like that and it seems to be helping but oh my gosh it has been a extremely extremely rough week with everybody being sick the only one that didn't really get sick i think is harvey but pax and maverick marcy and i all got sick so hopefully today's kind of the last worst day of it and we'll be up and up from here and be able to get kind of back on being healthy <laughs> Oh, it's been so hard, you guys, with the babies and just everything. Nobody's getting any sleep, so you can't get better as quick. It's been rough. But I'm going to take you guys back in time about a month ago to when I actually planted our garden. It might have been six weeks. I'm not sure. Let's go back in time. So this is something I've been needing to do for a while. That is set up the automatic watering for the garden. Otherwise, I'm fixing to just forget about it, and that'll be the end of it. So I've got a timer and we are going to set this up yep see it's already dried out thankfully it's not too far gone i don't think i think i can save it but it's going to be pretty simple we're going to use some three quarter inch pvc pipe i'm going to show you guys how we do it you need three quarter inch pvc pipe small drill bit and a way to attach and the fitting to attach the pvc to the hose and the timer and we should be golden so let's get it set up well we have a slight issue that being i don't have any pvc pipe glue thought i did could not find it, so I'm gonna try. We'll see how bad this leaks just by press fitting it, or if it'll work at all. And then uh, I should, I can still get it all set up. I'll just have to come back and uh, add the PVC pipe glue. But I'll show y'all what we're doing. So I just got the sections of pipe. We're just gonna lay them out here, and then drill holes where each of the plants is. That's running up all, all those plants. I've got to repair the end of this hose because it doesn't have a, uh, a connector on it here. Can I help? Yeah, grab the screwdriver. Screwdriver. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Then we got to go get one part out of the truck. So if you guys are wanting a super cheap easy watering system for your gardens and stuff this is definitely it so this is the fitting this screws onto the hose and then connects to the pipe and that's what we're going to use to do it and i would be gluing all of this but like i said i don't have any glue so we're going to leave that like that and now i'll just go up and down it and drill the holes where they need to be Theoretically now, I can just turn on the hose and all our plants are going to be warm. That literally took like five minutes to set this up. Let's turn that on full blast. I'm hoping it doesn't just like spray a super really big jet, which it might. So we might have to do some adjusting here. Also hoping that my uh, fittings, my fittings hold. Oh, look at that. Let's turn this. So it's just straight down. Yeah, that's a pretty strong stream.
but all the fittings are holding, so that's actually awesome. All right, I'm gonna kind of time this to see how much water they need, and then I'll set the timer. I'm guessing two minutes is what I have it set at now. Oh, I forgot to do the strawberries. I'll quickly do those. Amazingly, all the PVC pipe fittings are holding. I'm gonna glue them still, but at least I don't have to go right now to go get the glue. But that's pretty much two minutes of water, which is just barely starting to overflow on a couple of them. So I think that's probably about the right watering time. <coughs> two minutes every day, I'm thinking. So this is the timer I'm using. We just got it off of Timu. It takes two AA batteries and it shows you everything on there. You're able to program it. So I think I have it set for once a day for two minutes. That's what I think it is. But I guess I will come out here. It's supposed to go off at 635. So I will come out here at 635 and see how it does. Hi Goose, hi. Easy as that. I gotta fix the leaky faucet cause that's gonna leave a puddle everywhere. But other than that, I think honestly, this is gonna work great. I just tested it out. It turns on, turns off, does everything it should. I think two minutes is gonna be plenty of time. And I'm excited about this y'all. This is the easiest way to water your garden or other plants in the world. Literally a piece of PVC pipe, couple of PVC pipe fittings and you drill some holes in it. So, I mean, we're into this for like $10. So we actually even used a lot of leftover scrap pieces. So if y'all want a really easy way to do it, I'd highly recommend this. It has been a couple of weeks and I figured I'd give y'all an update <clears throat> on the garden situation. Let's just say I'm so glad I did what I did because last year, well, our garden just quickly overcame with weeds and that was the end of it. This year, you guys look at this it's been okay it's probably been about a month goose no goose don't pee on my plants and this is how it's looking so we haven't had any tomatoes yet and um, this plant is really bushy this one is not not sure why we have our two cantaloupe or something some sort of something here uh honeydew melon plants that are actually oh look there's a honeybee That's pretty cool. Y'all see that? So this plant seems to be doing pretty good. I came and sprayed. Focus. You can see kind of the dead spot. I actually need to come spray some more here and pull some more of these weeds. Make sure that they don't get, don't overcome and overtake this. I also need to look for squash bugs. Yeah, that is a big one, Mavi. Also, anybody know what the spotting is on the plant? I'm not sure what that is. I might have to uh, talk to Jack from Grow Jack Outdoors to see if he has any ideas. He's way better at this than I am. But actually, yeah, it's getting bad. Look at that. There's a whole bunch of yellowing there. And there. All over. Well, I might give him a call and see if he can uh, point me in the right direction on that. But our pepper plants, they're not growing super good. I need to figure out what fertilizer I need to use on those. Look at this one. You want to show everybody? Look at that big hole. <laughs> yeah, that grass pile. Okay, Maverick, do, can you find any cucumbers for us to pick? No, it's So I'm not going to lie to y'all. I already picked and ate three cucumbers, and they were absolutely delicious. But I think we do actually. Oh, yeah, we have one right here to pick. Come here. Oh my gosh. Here it is. Whoa. I also need to figure out how to tie these up higher. Yeah. Look, look at this one right here. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. Can you get this cucumber right here? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my. Good job. You did it. That's the first time you've ever picked a vegetable. High five, buddy. Good oh, job. No, there's not any on there. Let's look and see if there's any more on here. There's a lot of baby ones. I'm not seeing any other ready ones. We've got a couple right here. I see one, two, three on that plant. Nope, they're not ready yet. Okay. There's two. Oh my god. Of course. Of course, but there isn't any. Three. Four. So we've got a bunch of baby ones it looks like, but they're just not quite, not quite ready yet. 
which cucumbers grow exceptionally fast. So I am pretty excited about it. I think what I'm gonna do, we'll do it together here real quick. I'm gonna put up a couple of stakes and hopefully I have some string of some sort we can string up here and build this so these cucumber plants will actually trellis up it because they have already pretty much overgrown this, uh, these little cages. So I think it'll be better to get them up, get more air into them, get more sunlight on them and have them just keep producing like crazy. So let's go ahead. Let's, let's do that. Should we do that? Yeah. All right. So I have no idea if this will work, but I have this trellis netting. And we're going to try. Want to try? Okay. Want to try? Whoa, this is going to be a mess. Want to try? Goose, leave it. Want to try? Goose, come back here. Daddy, come eat my side. You want to come help me? Yeah, I'll hold that. I'll hold that. I'll hold that. Yeah, yeah. we got to figure out how this works. Okay, hold it. Okay. Oh, maybe like this. Okay, you hold that one. Okay, okay. Kind of see how this might work. Okay, let go. Thank you. I'll hold the other one right there. You're going to hold on to it for me? There we go. I think this will work actually. I just gotta figure out how to fasten it tightly. All right, well, it took me 20 minutes, but I found some. You want to try? You want to hold on? Yeah. Okay, you hold on. I don't even know where these zip ties came from, honestly. I've never seen them before, but somehow they were just in my bag, so we'll go with it. Want to try? Well, that strains through blah, blah, blah. my voice is still so bad y'all that strengthens it up a little bit now we can take like these vines here So I'm also excited about these strawberries because I had a bunch of strawberry plants and they ended up dying. Well, look, we've already got like three different shoots there, another plant there. I guess I ripped off the other ones. There were a couple other ones that I just ripped off. So once these actually start getting roots, which is going to be pretty soon, I'll come and I'll cut those and we're going to make a strawberry bed somewhere. Probably a raised bed. Not sure yet exactly how we're going to do it. But that's something we're going to do in the future because I love strawberries. Maverick loves strawberries, so we want to make sure we can grow some. Even though we're getting into the middle of summer. Not sure if that will really do very good, but we'll at least have the plants for next year. So as a kid, I loved going out in the garden and picking fresh vegetables. We're just getting to that point. Should we share it? Yeah. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh. Do you like it? That is so good, huh? Mm, thank you. It's even better if you sprinkle a little salt on it. Stick it in the fridge, let it cool down. Thankfully, to not, today's not super hot, so it's not bad. But these are sweet sliced cucumbers, is the variety. Best cucumber in the world. If you can ever find the seeds, buy them because It'll change your life. The cucumbers are so dang good. Another bite. Please. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> Did you like working in the garden with Daddy? Yeah. Oh. Thanks for your help. 
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something. I am blown away with how well it worked. So if y'all have any other ideas, something I missed, leave it down in the comments below. Otherwise, we will see y'all on the next one.